Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we will be understanding the Dalton's atomic theory. So let's understand it point wise. So the first point stated by Dalton was that elements consist of minute, indivisible, and indestructible particles called atoms. Which means that he stated that any element has a smallest particle which cannot be further on divided into sub particles okay so this was the first point let's understand the second point according to second point atoms of an element are similar to each other in regard to their mass and size so he meant to say that every atom in an element are of same size and their mass is also same Suppose if you consider a carbon element, so he said that every atom in a carbon element has a same size and it also has the same mass. Now third point states that atoms of different elements differ in properties and have different masses and size. Which means that suppose you consider an atom of sodium and a atom of fluorine so he said that they differ in their properties and they also have different masses and the size is also different now according to the fourth point compounds are formed when atoms of different elements combine with each other in simple numerical ratio let's understand this with an equation now in this reaction one sodium atom is combining with one chlorine atom and they are forming one sodium chloride so according to this point compounds are formed when this is the compound NaCl formed when atoms of different elements what are the different elements over here sodium and chlorine can combine with each other they are combining with each other in simple numerical ratio see one sodium is combining with one chlorine and it is giving one sodium chloride so there is a, all over one 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 over here which means that one is nothing but our integer right so this the coefficient present over here will always be an integer and it will not be any fraction like 2 by 3 4 by 5 or anything like that there will always be a integer present along with these elements let's understand the next point atoms can neither be created nor be destroyed into atoms of other elements which means that you cannot convert a sodium atom into a chlorine atom now the last point states that the relative numbers and kind of atoms are always the same in a given compound which means that suppose you want a sodium chloride compound so there will always be sodium and chlorine present in that compound and they will be fi uh, they will be present in a fixed ratio that is one sodium will be present and one chlorine will be present the number won't change they will be one each but there are certain drawbacks into this theory therefore they brought a modified atomic theory now according to this modified atomic theory the atom the atom is no longer supposed to be indivisible the atom is not a simple particle but a complex one as we all know in an atom there are electrons neutrons as well as protons so due to this an atom can be further divided into subatomic particles for a kind information that in an atom there are around 35 subatomic particles out of those 35 we are studying only three that are neutrons electrons and protons so uh, according to Dalton he stated that atom cannot be further divided but it is possible to further divide an atom into its subatomic particles the next point states that atoms of same elements may not necessarily possess the same mass but possess the same atomic number and so similar chemical properties this led to the discovery of isotopes don't worry i'll explain you what is isotopes now see carbon carbon 
is present in three forms one carbon the weight of one carbon atom is c12 which means that the atomic weight is 12 here the atomic weight is 13 and here the atomic weight is 14 why is it so because the number of nucleons present in the neutron increases one or year and two or year therefore this 12 the atomic mass converted into 12 13 and 14 respectively now due to this what is happening is that the atomic number that is the number of electrons is remaining the same only the number of neutrons is increasing in this and this this therefore their uh, atomic number is same but the atomic mass number is different so it is possible to have an atom of a same element carbon with a different atomic mass number now the third point says that atoms of different elements may possess the same mass but they always have different atomic numbers and differ in chemical properties they are known as isobars now let's understand what is isobars so i have considered chlorine argon and potassium now the different forms of their they are having see chlorine is having atomic mass as 40 and argon is having an atomic mass of 40 and k which is potassium is also having a atomic mass of 40 so here the different elements that the atoms of different elements are having the same atomic mass but their atomic number is different okay these are known as isobars now the last point is that atoms of one element can be converted into atoms of another element which means that if you want to convert chlorine into argon it is possible with the help of the radioactivity so guys this was all about your dalton's atomic theory and the modified version of it so if you have like this video then please do not forget to subscribe to the channel do like this video and please do share it with your friends as well and stay tuned for all your videos regarding your chemistry from your 11th and 12th as well as your engineering chemistry so guys thanks for watching this video